All right, welcome back. So in the second part of this video, let's continue. Uh, we can combine these two integrals using properties of definite integrals into, because the limits of integration are the same, we can combine it into a single integral from zero to one of pi times the square root of y squared, oops, minus pi times the y squared squared with respect to y. We can further combine this or clean this up into zero to one of pi. We can factor a pi out because both terms have a pi in it. The root of y squared minus the square of y squared with respect to y. Now I'm gonna pause here, come back to this and, and basically let's put a star next to this and we'll see what happens uh, when we use the washer method instead. Now, the washer method would start the exact same way. You'd still draw a 3D representation. You would still draw a representative slice. And I forgot in the previous video to mention that the thickness, I used it, but I didn't write it down, would be dy because we're slicing horizontally. So if we slice horizontally, the thickness will be some vertical distance or dy. If we were to use the washer method, we wouldn't have to do a volume of the outside shape separately and the volume of the inside shape separately. We can simply do, uh, this is using washer. The volume would be the integral from zero to one, where we start slicing and where we stop slicing, of pi times the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared with respect to y in this case. So I would write for the integral from zero to one of pi times, now the outer radius squared the outer radius from here to here is the distance from here to here, which is going to be given by root y. So I'm going to square root y minus the inner radius squared. The inner radius will be the distance from here to here, which is given by uh, y squared. And if you notice, it's literally the same exact thing thing as that. Now, you might be inclined to say, well, if the washer method is so much easier, why are we doing all this stuff on the left-hand side and then using washer at the end? Why not just use washer to begin with? You're more than welcome to. If the question just asks you to set it up as washer, you're more than welcome to just do this and nothing else. The purpose of this video was to make you understand and hopefully make you see that the washer method is nothing other than the disk method used on the outside shape minus the disk method used on the inside shape. And if you take the larger volume and you subtract from it the smaller volume, you get the answer you're looking for. For this particular problem, that idea of disk minus disk is not going to save us time. Washer method you can see is significantly faster. For other problems, as you're gonna see in future videos, that might not be the case. You might actually not be able to use washers all the way through. You may need to use disk minus disk, or it might be the case that disk minus disk gives you the answer significantly faster than using washers. Hopefully that makes sense. We'll see you in the next video.